What's up, everyone? It's Coach Megan, and we're back with a new episode of the Powerhouse Podcast. I'm super excited. Today, we are going to be revealing all of our deepest, darkest secrets, talking about what the heck exactly makes a great or a bad pageant coach. And in the end, make sure you stay tuned for a very, very special free training that we are going to be hosting actually today, the day that the podcast comes out inside of our free Facebook group. We will put the links in the show notes. Make sure that you guys go back and listen to that. It will also be available for replay. So if you're listening to this later, don't worry. If you join our free Facebook group, which again, link in the show notes, we'll make sure that you have access to that. We're going to be talking about how to consistently place in the top 15 without overextending on your budget, time, or energy. So you will not want to miss out on that. Okay, we'll get right into this week's episode. Hey everyone, I missed you guys last week. Um, We have been so busy around here and pageant season is definitely um, up in full force. Um, I just wanted to do a quick shout out. I know we have a secret surprise for you guys at the end. I want to make sure that you guys get a hold of that free training. So again, um, I will mention that again at the end. Um, I guess I just kind of ruined the surprise actually by telling you guys, but still stay tuned and I'll give you some more information on that. Um, But there's been a lot going on in the world, you know, with Afghanistan and things at the time of this recording. And so I just wanted to point to your attention and your direction since we haven't talked about it for a while. If you are not subscribing to Pageants and Politics, we give you a weekly digest that you can consume in about 30 minutes um, that gives you tons of sample questions, big picture topics, takeaways, and also really delves into um, via a bipartisan viewpoint what is going on in the world. Um, You know, political prep takes so much of Pageant Girls' time. It did when I was competing. It did when Coach Ali was competing and um, just takes a lot of your mental energy and especially in times like right now where the world is just quite literally like crazy. Um, It can be really damaging to your mental health or at least affect your mental health. And so we want to take care of that for you. Um, It comes with a 15 minute podcast every single week, really helping you just on how to think about certain things. We don't shove our viewpoints down your throat. Um, We really want to give you a global scale so that you can make intelligent decisions on your own and take care of your political and current events prep for you. So if that interests you, um, the links for all that is in the show notes um, and we'll, we will take care of you in that regard. So, okay, um, today we're going to be talking about what makes a great versus crappy pageant coach. In this short episode, we're going to be revealing um, all the, the dirty secrets, you know, behind the curtain of what's going on. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, I was just thinking about this this week and I was like, wow, we, we haven't really talked about this. And a lot of girls are in our DMs right now just asking about what we do and how we do it and all this good stuff. I just posted something um, today about our free training coming up at the time of this recording and just have dozens and dozens of comments, which makes me so happy because that makes me know, lets me know um, as a pageant coach that we've kind of really hit a pain point on the head, which is what we want to do because then we know how to help you guys. Um, So if you guys are not a part of Interview Mastery for Pageant Women, we are soon changing the name um, to probably um, Pageant Interview Mastery. Just it, it rolls off the tongue a little bit easier than IMFPW as we current call it. Um, If you're not in our free group yet, again, those links are in the show notes. We want to help you. We post free trainings all the time um, and tons of just research and and happenings um, that are going on. For example, tomorrow there's a big bomb being dropped, um, supposed to be by MAO, a little spoiler. So we always uh, let you guys know what's going on inside the free group. So make sure you click to join that as well. Bunch of cool stuff going on. But I got to thinking about just, you know, over the course of the years, like what what makes for a great pageant coach, what makes for a bad ca- pageant coach. And um, I used to ask myself this a lot, actually, because I had no idea. I had one pageant coach back in middle school, high school, when I did like my one and only pageant and so that I did. Um, and I did NAM like one time later. Um, but I hired the only pageant coach that I kind of knew existed because this is before everybody used Facebook for personal use and for business and, and all that. And, um, I didn't really know what I was doing. And so I just remember showing up to my coaching calls, um, or at that time in person, just so scared and I'm friends with them now. So it's, it's water under the bridge. It's funny, but, um, you know, when I was 15 and, and I didn't have any expectations really set for me, I was, I was quite scared. And then I was paying hundreds of dollars to show up to something that, um, 
you know, I, I can't say it didn't give me value, but when your fight or flight mechanism, which is called um, by psychologists, the, the crocodile brain is up and you kind of have your guard up, you have your gloves up, if you will. It's really hard to sit back and be vulnerable. It's really hard to sit back and learn and learning requires vulnerability. And so one thing that we do in our practice at powerhouse pageantry is we're really, really adamant to pre-qualify everybody that we work with. And I want to talk a little bit about, you know, our kind of process of why we do things quite differently than I would say that most um, other coaches do their thing. And it's not because one way is right or one way is wrong or even necessarily better. Although um, I would like to say that we, I will just say this, we work super, super hard, like super hard um, and have invested at this point, hundreds of thousands of dollars of my own money personally to become the best life coach, the best um, spiritual advisor, the best intellectual advisor um, that I can be to provide quite an exceptional service for women in the pageant world. And part of that is because of what both Coach Allie and myself um, saw as holes in the market. You know, when I, a lot of you guys don't know this actually. So when I first started out pageant coaching, I was working at a coffee shop, getting paid nine, ten dollars an hour, and and then some tips. And um, my interview coach that I had worked with for Miss America had just passed away, and he had worked with like the past ten Miss Americas, Miss USAs. He was the guy. He traveled all around, lived in the Midwest, and a lot of you guys probably know him who have been around for a while. Although honestly, most people who have worked with him have now aged out because I've aged out of all um, most systems and. I was the last person to work with him and then he passed away shortly, like six months later from a blood clot. Um, But really, he was the guy. I mean, there weren't really a lot of other well-known pageant coaches and specifically MAO and MUO. This is seven years ago that he passed now, um, six, seven years ago. And there was a massive hole in the market. And so here I was, um, you know, fresh out of college, vocal student. And I saw a hole in the market where I was like, you know, I I really think that I could serve people in this way. I really think that I could help people in a massively powerful way and in in an authentic way that was a little bit different than my experience. And, And so armed with just what I knew from Miss Nebraska and Miss America, as well as the communication skills that I've grown from competing and from ministry and from just, um, you know, getting an an arts education, performing, things like that in the music industry in Nashville. Um, I took all that and I was like, you know, I really think that I can serve women in a massive way. And so my first client won, my second client, um, got, you know, first or second runner up at, at Miss New York, um, And then went on to be uh, first or second runner up to Nia, who went on to win Miss America. And, uh, you know, just cool things like that where I really felt like God was aligning like, hey, this is your purpose. You're good at this. And then, like I said, you know, over the past six years now, I've I've invested more than 100 grand at this point um, or close to it, to which doesn't matter. But, you know, just because I'm hungry and Coach Ali is hungry for what we can do to serve our industry. It's really, really important to us. And so um, I say all that to say that there's not one right or wrong way. And, and even as you guys will see me um, write copy on my Instagram and, and Facebook and in our private group about here's why we do it this way. Here's kind of the old way and the new way. It's because um, we want to work with a very specific type of client. You know, there's a very designated reason as to why we don't work with women under the age of 12, um, unless they're like absolutely dynamite and very advanced in terms of their communication skills. And we don't really do international pageants. We don't really do a whole lot of misses pageants. Why? Because we know what we're good at and we know what we're not good at. And in the same way that I'm not your fitness coach and, and you're a nutritionist, um, and I don't even really do that much talent coaching anymore, even though um, I'm great at it and I have a four-year vocal degree from you know one of the best colleges in the country, I just can't do everything. But I love pointing girls in the right direction. And so that's part of why we utilize a free strategy call, which again, I'm going to talk about in a little bit. And I hope that from listening, if you haven't hopped on a free strategy call with us, I'm going to tell you why that could be incredibly valuable for you. Um, but it's because I, I believe that if you, if you're a jack of all trades, you're a master of none. And if you guys have been listening to the podcast for a long time, you know, that, um, both coach Allie and myself are a bit of (laughs) naturally jack of all trades. You know, we sing, we dance, we act like we've done all these different things. Our parents raised us to be musicians first, um, well, Christians first, but musicians and athletes and academics and kind of had all this stuff. It's really a miracle as to, or a marvel, I guess I should say, as to how we 
didn't get involved in pageants earlier um, but because it just kind of made sense, like having a talent and being a smart human um, and like generally not troll looking, I suppose. Although, you know what? Don't see my middle school and early high school pictures because I did look like a troll. Pre-Instagram, yo, you feel me? But we really set out to do something different in the industry because um, we had heard that a, a lot of pageant coaches had burned people. And so when I first started Powerhouse Pageantry, um, I knew I wanted to do interview consulting because there was a certain um, mentor-mentee relationship that was really beautiful and really special that drew me. And I knew that I could get girls results in that area. And um, so that's kind of how Powerhouse was born and um, why we only work with a certain age range of clientele as well as um, sticking within about four to six major organizations. And that's because um, I find a, a ton of joy actually in, in getting to be a reference and a connector even if that that right fit for somebody isn't necessarily uh, me. And we've had to turn several people away over the years, um, but it's such a joy because when we turn them away, we're really turning them to something that is actually for them. And on that free strategy call, we're helping them to identify the one or two major bottlenecks, roadblocks, obstacles, issues that have just been cannibalizing um, their their prep, their their finances, their energy, their time, their mental energy, um, or simply their performance on stage. And that's the purpose of a free strategy call. We do it that way so that we can set girls up for success. And we give you our time, 45 minutes of our time, you know, which is very valuable. And um, it's not to, to solve all of your problems on one call, but it is to... Um, help you to leave with a strategy for success and we tell you exactly what we would do if we were in your position so that regardless of whether you work with us or not regardless of whether you ever become a client or not you're walking away with tons of valuable information and we get to prove to you as a coach which I love um, how we can diagnose your issue in a way that maybe you've been competing for a long time um, and nobody's ever been honest with you or nobody's been able to diagnose the issue and so you get a chance to word vomit um, we take a ton of notes and then we walk away away um, and you walk away with hundreds of dollars of value um, for free, which is a super cool transition. And then the the really awesome thing is at the end of that strategy call, um, we get to see if you're a right fit for us. And it's kind of like a match when it comes to sororities or even a relationship match. We always tell people, and really, again, my mission and my vision for Powerhouse is that women feel like they're part of a family. Um, you know, we don't just do your traditional one-on-one coaching, although that's included in some of our packages, but we really customize everything on purpose. And that's because um, without taking a strategy call, without getting to know somebody, um, yeah, I could I could take your money and figure all out w- kind of how we want to go um, on our first call, or we could figure that out ahead of time and then find if um, this is a waste of your time, money, energy, resources, as well as ours, um, or move forward in a really, really fantastic and confident way in alignment already and have a game plan um, from the second that you ever give us a dollar. And that just feels um, way more full of integrity for me. And um, we just end up having the best clients ever. I mean, literally, you guys, in six years, like, I mean, one just came and stayed with my sister last weekend, <laughs> Rachel, because she's um, shifted from client to, to mentee to friend. And I, I want that journey for everybody. We have so many other people, Lydia Tremaine, who I greatly respect, and just other people who um, we've gotten to be a part of their lives and their stories who come from such diverse backgrounds and belief systems and areas of the country. Um, that's what it's all about. And it's just so cool to to see after six years, um, kind of the the full circle nature of things coming all the way back around, and women who thought they were done competing and now are doing USA, um, or are done competing and and are starting relationships, and um, I get to coach them and, and walk them through other areas of their life, even outside of pageantry, and. That was really the end goal from the beginning um, was to help people with so much more. And so that's why we always say at Powerhouse, we'll help you first clean up your life, clean up your identity, um, the, the mental mess, the toxic thoughts, the things that are built, that have a place in your foundation that shouldn't, that um, are really wreaking havoc on your identity and who God created you to be and your calling and your purpose and your ability to take action. Um, and then number two is, is we help you to rebuild who you are, right? So we sweep it out. Number two, then we rebuild who you are and we help you to decide what those core values and those foundational blocks should be. And we make sure that they're built on great things that are going to empower you, that are going to speak calling and destiny and vision into your life. 
Um, and then number three, we help to put that together and, and to find a really fun, awesome brand that feels like putting on the best, you know, custom tailored suit that you've ever had specifically made just for you. And I remember that that journey was super hard for me because I was like, what is a brand? <laughs> like I, you know, you've seen to this day, if y'all follow me on social media, you get like one makeup day a week for me. Like that's, I'm like, you got a plan. We're going to film like 18 things in one day because just the effort. I'm like, I wash my hair once a week. Sorry if that's gross, but you know, just low maintenance. And I want to prove to people that you can win a pageant. You can win your state. You can represent your state authentically you. And we want to teach you how to play the pageant game, but also play the you game and figure out who the heck you are and make those things um, have synchronicity with one another so that you're not like putting this mask on you guys. I mean, it's exhausting. If you've listened to other episodes, you know how exhausting it is. It's absolutely exhausting to be a different version of yourself. It's just no thank you. So um, we, we do that. Then we help you with platform, paperwork, social impact pitch, um, your storylines, which is super important. We call them super stories. And just figuring out, you know, what do you want to say? What are you here to say? What are you here on earth to say? And developing just your community service, your mission, and helping you become a mission-minded individual, not just somebody who's a robot competing in a pageant. Um, then we help you to outsource source the other areas of competition that um, are not within our realms of expertise. And our realms of expertise are mindset, branding, um, social media, onstage question, interview, and onstage presence. So outside of that, um, we have an amazing group of coaches and consultants to help you with nutrition, fitness, talent, headshots, um, you know, fashion stuff specifically, and um, just helping you be in good hands, safe people, awesome people um, that have affordable rates for pageant or for powerhouse pageantry girls. And um, a great example of that is we have our mastermind coming up October 15th and 16th. And we have the divines coming to do headshots um, who are giving our girls just absolutely incredible, incredible rates. Like I'm talking one third the price of what you would pay for a normal headshot. And they're just dynamite. So girls come for mastermind for two days um, and then they, you know, they walk away with having done a mock pageant, mock interviews, um, get their headshots done and, and over six hours of training from Coach Allie and I uh, at Powerhouse HQ. So I think we have like four spots left for that. If you guys want to join, um, the, the links will be in the show notes or just please email us, Megan at powerhousepageantry.com or Allie, A-L-L-I-E at powerhousepageantry.com or just DM us on Instagram and we will take care of you. Um, we'd love to have you there. And again, get things done in one foul sloop. We, we've calculated it. I think you'll say like a thousand dollars, um, coming to mastermind and doing your headshots all in one foul sloop because you'll save probably 500 bucks on the headshots themselves. And then you'll save, another gosh five six seven hundred dollars on your plane ticket like only having to fly once rather than twice um not to mention you'll get built up by an amazing sisterhood of new friends and get to see powerhouse hq um we're going to take social media pictures with our infinity wall studio that we have at the office it's just going to be amazing so amazing so super excited but Things like that. I mean, that's what a pageant coach is for. So, um, you know, kind of going back to the original intent of this podcast, even because I've told you a little bit more about our philosophy. Actually, let me finish that out real quick. So um, after we kind of give you access to coaches and consultants, we finish it out with advanced questions framework, which is exactly how to answer any kind of question, teaching you the mental kind of forward thinking nature of how to answer anything um, without compromising your values. And then also our current events framework. Um, and again, if I can do it as a vocal coach, you can do it <laughs> as a pageant girl. Um, there should be no fear when you walk up and start answering onstage questions. There should just be no fear. Um, and we can help you do that. So um, we do that A to Z. And um, yeah, then let's talk a little bit more about some things that I think are great and not so great um, about pageant coaches. Shall we? I think we shall. So um, here's, what, here's what pageant coaches are not. Pageant coaches are not somebody that just gets on a phone call and talks at you for 60 minutes. Um, my sister has a master, master's in executive coaching and leadership and organizational leadership. Um, and she's our client success director. She's absolutely incredible. When you um, join any powerhouse anything you'll do an onboarding with her where we show you a to z exactly what to expect how the process works what you have access to blah blah blah. Um, and you know I, I think what what makes me sad in our industry sometimes is that 
Um, pageant coaches haven't necessarily caught up to the businessy type things where um, things are running at the same level that a business coach or a sales coach or whatever would um, would run it, right? And so we really try and run powerhouse pageantry like a business the best that we possibly can. And like I said, have invested and are always investing in new training. We actually just did like last week um, to make ourselves better head to toe, A to Z. And we're really, really proud of that. Um, we, we weren't always that way when I first started powerhouse. I was taking calls in the back of a minivan on Zoom on my iPad. So my how far we have come. And again, no condemnation. Everybody's at a different place in their journey. But if you like structure and A to Z lists, you know, how to follow a plan, um, you might be a good, you might be a good fit for us. Um, number two. So being a, being a good pageant coach or being a bad pageant coach, I should say, is, um, it's not my favorite thing when a coach just gets on and solves all the client's problems for them in, in a necessarily a certain amount of time learning is a process. And one of the things that we focus on is mastering your greatest bottleneck, like I said, obstacle, whatever you want to call it, in the first session, in in your first encounter with us, because that creates momentum. And momentum is what's going to help you soar and continue to take bold, massive, and perfect action throughout the rest of the time in prep. And that's a huge thing that um, if you feel like you're losing stamina, Um, you may not have accurate expectations that you have set for yourself or accountability structures. And that's why you feel like you're losing steam when you come to the end of the year. So we're going to be talking about that on the live training tomorrow. Um, again, budget time energy. We're going to be getting into that. It's gonna be really great. Um, and then number three is a couple things. It's not doing it for them. It's not, um, necessarily even like how much you talk or you don't, although I would say, um, why I brought up my sister earlier is we partner together a lot, um, just to encourage ourselves actually to shut up and talk less on calls. Um, because if you study life coaching and you're certified, like my sister and I are, um, actually a huge part of the process of getting people to that result, um, that desired result that they have is letting them figure that out for themselves. And so our big thing at powerhouse is we want to set you up in an environment structure, accountability and coaching that shows you how you can solve your own problems and we want to lead you there we want to ask you the right questions because think about it if you're going to be a great pageant title holder if you're going to be a great leader you need to know how to think you need to know how to think on your feet you need to know how to be adaptable you need to know how to answer press interviews on stage questions and so guess where that starts that starts in your everyday life And so we want to model that for you as coaches to um, really lead a horse to water so that you do drink and help give you the tools and the resources to feel confident that you can do that. Um, Our number one goal is that eventually within honestly a, a year, maybe two years, max three um, unless you're like 18 starting in miss and you know, you have a longer journey just naturally. That's normal, um, is that you, you won't need us. We want to give you all the tools in your toolbox where you're like, Hey, can we start talking about like non-pageant stuff? Can we start talking about life? Can we start talking about relationships, career, starting a business, you know, whatever. And that's where the, the real fun begins is when we have helped you master yourself to such a level where you're pretty self-sufficient and then we have more for you. And, um, you, you know, you're, you're able to dream outside of the box more and have vision for your life, which is honestly just the, the cherry on top. We love, 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 love doing that with all of our clients. So anyways, I know this was a little bit, um, a traditional of a podcast episode. Um, but I, I really wanted to encourage you guys today. Maybe you've been on the fence about coaching, um, for a while, or maybe you had a bad experience. And honestly, I, I don't really care if, if, um, I mean, I care, but it doesn't matter to me if we're the, and we end up being the right fit for you. Maybe you've been listening to the podcast for a while and you hop on a strategy call and I'm like, Hey, you know, I think that this recommendation would be killer for you based off what you've told me. Um, this is my recommendation. Like maybe it's, Hey, you, you told me that your biggest thing is that you want to feel your best on stage. Hey, here's Scott Keppel. He will take great care of you. I probably refer one person to him a week and, uh, never had a bad experience in years upon years upon years. And, um, I'd say, Hey, let's talk again in six months. Like I don't need your money. You spend your time on this because that's going to make you feel amazing. And then let's talk again. Right. Or maybe you're not in the right system for us. Um, 
One of the big things that we look for is we look for high achieving women who are hungry, who who desire coaching, who desire change in their life, who want to make changes now, who want to change their habits, their hangups, their hurts. They want to process through those things. They want a community to live in, to not do life alone. Um, you know, you might live in a small town, you might live in a big town um, and you want it to feel a little bit smaller. You might just have questions that you just need answered on a regular basis. Or you might have these big questions where you're like, why do I keep placing exactly the same? Like what's wrong with me? Is there something wrong with me? Is this the right system for me? And that's where coaching comes in. I wish that I would have asked for help earlier um, on my journey in pageants. And luckily for Miss USA, I had a massive team and I had people helping me to be my best self before Miss Nebraska USA and before um, Miss USA. And same with Allie. I encouraged her because I didn't have a lot of people in my journey to Miss America. Um, I knew that to be an Olympic athlete at the highest level, so Miss USA, Miss America, Miss World, Miss Earth, Miss whatever, it takes a team. And I think so often as high achievers, it's one of the hardest things for us is to ask for help. And so this is your sign. If you've been looking for a sign, if you've been waiting around, if you've been you know, listening to the podcast for a long time, I encourage you to lean in. God will always meet you at your level of expectation. It's like if you show up to a concert expecting it to be awful, it's going to be awful. If you show up to a class expecting it to be awful, you're going to project that through your reticular activating system and see awful everywhere you go, right? So let us help you with that. At least talk to us. Take that first step. Um, My life has been changed by the different mentors that have been in my life, my business coaches, my sales coaches. I have specifically female mentors in my life that just get it at a different level. I have life groups I'm a part of, um, you know, several times a month. I promise you, like, it it will change change your life. But if you don't rub elbows with people who have been where you want to go, done what you want to do and think how you want to think, live how you want to live, how do you expect to get there on your own? That doesn't make any sense, right? If no one ever teaches you how to tie your shoes, like are you supposed to just figure it out? That we don't expect that in any other area of our lives. So let's not start putting that expectation and uh, on ourselves for, for pageant stuff too. That doesn't make any sense. We are here to help you We'd love to figure out if you are a great client fit for us. High achievers, um, 12 to 28 is about our range. People who love growth, personal development, podcasts, want to change. You will thrive in our environment. And if that's not you, then um, you know, send us a DM anyway, and we can hopefully point you in the right direction um, for somebody that would be an amazing fit for who you are. Okay, last couple of reminders. So remember, we have a free training today at the time of this coming out. Um, how to consistently place in the top 15 or higher without overextending your time, budget, or energy. That is in our free Facebook group, Interview Mastery for Pageant Women, which will soon be rebranded to Pageant Interview Mastery. And all the links are below. Um, Also, if politics are stressing you out and current events make you sad, click the link in our show notes to sign up for Pageants and Politics, and we will take care of your prep for you at such a ridiculously low price that you will probably laugh. So um, we're here for you guys. I can't wait to um, get introduced to so many of you guys who will book free strategy calls because of this episode and feel free to let us know um, on Instagram if you have any other topics that you'd like for us to cover. We are always open to that and want to provide the best podcast ever. So thank you so much. Um, Subscribe if you haven't already and leave us a five-star review and with that we'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, Coach Megan here, and thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Powerhouse Podcast. We're so honored to have you wherever you are, near or far away from the great metropolis of Omaha, Nebraska, where we are from. We are so proud to be your virtual coaches. If you could just share this with a friend that you feel like needs to hear this today, give us a five-star review if you haven't already, and click that link below in our show notes. We promise we are the nicest people. We are the nicest people, we promise, and we'd love to meet you, and we'd love to to figure out if you're a good fit for our programs or make a suggestion for a different coach, different consultant, different person that's a professional in their field that can help you. Um, The reason why we do it this way, actually, because a lot of people ask, is because we want to help you practice the elements of being a great title holder from the very beginning. And one of those things is vulnerability. One of those things is being a self-starter. One of those things is being able to reach out and cold email, cold call, cold DM somebody that you don't know because of the potential opportunity on the other side of things. When I was Mr. Brown, 
Nebraska and Miss Nebraska USA, just letting y'all know that's how you get media. That's how you get appearances. That's how you get sponsors is being willing to put yourself out there. And so we want to help you practice that from the very beginning, learn more about you and discover um, if we can help you and we'll point you in the right direction for one of our services programs and the right coach for you. Otherwise, we will absolutely make a best suggestion for you in a different direction. Because at the end of the day, we're not territorial about needing to coach every person in the world. We just want you to find your right fit so that you can make your dreams come true and unlock the winner within you. Anyways, just wanted to encourage you guys in that today. Again, leave us a review, DM us um, on Instagram at any of our handles. And with that, we'll see you guys next week.